So ladies and gentlemen, welcome to our Navamsha video of the week. And today we're going to be covering Saturn in the 8th house of your D9 Navamsha chart. And what happens when Saturn is in the 8th house in your D9 Navamsha, which is, as you know, is a divisional chart related to marriage. It is a chart related to the strength of your planets, the second half of your life, the fortune of your life. It's pretty much one of the most, you know, widely viewed charts uh, in the Vedic astrological system, even more than Sastiyamsha, even though Sastiyamsha is uh, the strongest. But again, it's like the time discrepancy. Most don't use it. But this is the one that is widely used. So it's very important. And as always, if you do not know, if you have Saturn in the 8th house of the Navamsha, how it's placed in your birth chart, along with all the other planets, for that, check out the links here. Check out my full astrological report, including my books, consultations, under the shop section of this link. So, Saturn in the 8th house. One thing you will notice, I don't care if it's exalted, debilitated, friendly, doesn't matter. Even if you have the happiest marriage, the longest marriage, there will be some, some kind of a black spot on the reputation of the individual or the reputation of the marriage. Like, for example, I'll give you an example of this one lady who um, been married for like 20 years, but they had to file for bankruptcy. They had to file for bankruptcy and they had to sell off some, um, some of the things in their home. It was a bad time. It wasn't bad where they're on streets, but they're filing for bankruptcy. And the thing is, at that time, it, they needed help of other people. And that kind of like stayed where everybody kind of knew, oh, they, they're filing for bankruptcy. There's like, you know, it's kind of like a little mark. People usually want to be like, oh, look, I'm married, I'm successful. But it could be anything. It could be, I'm not saying it's going to be bankruptcy for all, everyone who has this. No, it just depends on how the other plans are placed, the dasha. It could simply be the fact that you're within the marriage. You may go to some wedding and get into fight with someone. And that one particular incident will be like, oh, we remember this couple. Oh yeah, they got into this fist fight with this one other person or the husband got into a fist fight with that. Something always it gives. But here's the thing. It needs to give that in order to give you something better. Because Saturn in the 8th house is very strong for steady and residual growth. Especially of joint assets. Now joint assets always happen late like especially after 35 you're able to accumulate joint assets before that even if you're a woman your husband and you may not be able to save enough money because maybe you're just trying to buy a home you're doing this the investments are not there but after 35 you will see how saturn then starts giving that joint assets especially if it's now you have to look at the sign to see if saturn is placed in a good condition where a person can accumulate wealth the other thing we also see is that especially within the context of marriage, there will always be some kind of a fight or some kind of like taking a stance against your own family. So for example, let's say you love your family and all that, you get married. And for some reason, you know, most spouses may not get along with some family, may some, something happens, they go to a party, you know, your mother says something to them. And then they come and tell you that, look, this is what your mother is saying. Why would she say this to me? And then you're like, you're calling your mother. Why would you say this to her? And your mother's like, well, da, 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 da. And you're like, no, stop it. Don't say anything to my wife. This is my wife. You're not allowed to. And so what happens is you're taking a stance for your marriage against the family. Sure. Next week, you guys will be happily eating dinner together again. But it, it does that. The other thing we also see that you tend to find, especially if Saturn is in a neutral or a good condition, you will find quite good conservative in-laws, the spouse's family. They will be very hardworking individuals. They're going to be the type of people who don't want to go out and do crazy investments and this and that. They're the people, you know, like government job, have their, you know, portfolio, they invest in it. They live a normal, happy life. Now, of course, if it's debilitated or if it's like in a condition where it's not, you know, 
getting the cancellation or no positive aspect, then you're going to get uh, a type of situation where in-laws could be dealing with constant financial issues. Constantly some health issue will be happening there. No good relations will come out because they will become rebel against you or you will become rebel against them. Because Saturn is a rebel. He will become a rebel against, uh, against those things because of the things that you will experience. At the same time, one thing we also see that especially with this Saturn, whether you're married or not, you could be single, you will have a fight with your boss. You'll have a fight with your boss. You'll have a fight with some senior person on which, uh, due to which you're going to walk out on your job. It, it's, it's just, it's bound to happen. Um, the other thing we also see is that Saturn in the eighth house can give great great speculative gains even if it's debilitated it can give great speculative gains like especially if you invest long term because saturn is long term always with this saturn especially later in life always do long-term investments not like oh let's buy this stock and sell it next month let's buy gold now sell it in six months no you buy it for decades on end then you reap the results with the saturn when you do these quick investments, you will lose more than gain more. But Saturn will do, and, and Saturn also gives a lot of political ambition. Saturn will either make you a great politician in your corporate life, corporate world where you know how to get around things and get your way, or you simply will have interest towards some political agenda. Because politics is what? What is the meaning of politics? Politics is not what you do for the people or politics is not what you do for you know your constituents no it's it's simply is who gets what where when and how much that's all that's politics who gets what where when and how much and you become quite good with that so this is saturn in a nutshell then especially saturn here obviously um, either will give you excellent interactions with astrologers or you'll have the worst experience with astrologers. Like you'll go to an astrologer and they will get nothing right. Even though they might be brilliant astrologers themselves, you'll have a karma to either not get a good reading at all or get a good reading, but especially only later in life. Once you reach like 35, 36, then you start getting the right astro astrologers in your life in order to seek some hidden information and hidden knowledge. That's something I've actually seen it over and over again. A person does not get a good astrological consultation with Saturn in the 8th, unless, of course, it's well-placed till later in life. The other thing, and of course, if there's a benefic aspect on Saturn, sure, then Saturn can definitely rectify that and do that and Saturn can definitely here in the 8th house give excellent astrological skills. Because Saturn, what it does that a person does not look for shortcuts. Like, you know, there's these techniques in astrology. Oh, that's place there, da 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 it becomes active here. No, this is the person, they're like, I want to know first of all what is written in the history, meaning the classics. And whatever subject, doesn't have to be astrology, whatever subject, I want to know what is written in history in the classics and I want to do the rigorous process of knowing through the actual mechanics what is happening I don't want to just look and see things I want to know why what how okay so anyway this was my analysis of Saturn in the eighth house of Navamsha chart if you're new to my channel subscribe below and want to know where your Saturn is placed all the astrological details Check out the links here. Otherwise, we'll see you later. Bye-bye.